Cameron Stewart, Director of Initial Teacher Education at Cardiff Partnership. The PLP is a one-stop shop for our student teachers, our mentors, our senior mentors and our university tutors. Students can record their attendance, they can plan and evaluate lessons, they can record and reflect upon their research and inquiry time and of course their entire assessment portfolio sits within the PLP. As a partnership we have worked closely with EWC to refine and build the bespoke version of the PLP that we use today. Shona Davidwi dwi a dwi'n uwch ddarlithydd yma ar y cwrs târ cynradd ym Mhrifysgol Metropolitan Caerdydd. Dwi'n gyfrifol am y modiwl ymarfer clinigol neu be fyddai bobl yn nabod fel profiad ysgol. A felly mae'r pydyp yn ddefnyddiol iawn uh, ond safbwyn di. Dwi'n gweld mewn bymfyrwyr yn gallu cynllunio i gwersi yn union gyrchol ar y pydyp yn. O beth sy'n dda hefyd yw bod ni'n gallu rhoi doleni iddyn nhw arno fe, felly maen nhw'n gallu mynd megis at y thramwaith, y trenedd y rhifedd. Um, mae popeg maen nhw angen yn gallu cael ei doleni at y cynllun i hunan ac yn ei pethau dipyn yn haws o oherwydd. Ac wedyn wrth gwrs ar ôl iddyn nhw ddysgu'r wers, maen nhw'n gallu gwerthuso'r profiad o safbwynt y dysgu ac o safbwynt y ddysgu. Ar hyn sy'n dda yw bod pawb yn gallu cael mynediad ato, a'n gallu gweld yn union ble maen nhw er mwyn rhoi cyngor iddyn nhw am eu cynllunio a'u gwerthuso. I'm Dr Thomas Brees and I'm a Clinical Practice Requirements Lead here at Cardiff Met. When we were designing the student experience out on placement in schools, we felt it was very important that they had the time and space to reflect on their developing practice. We didn't want them teaching lesson after lesson without taking that important time to reflect. And so on the PLP, as an online collaborative tool, we're able to provide them with a variety of research-backed reflective models, which lead them through the process of just stepping back and considering those important and knotty issues that come up out on placement. Because it's on the PLP, mentors in school can see it, we can see it here in university, we can comment on it, and we can pull them out as the basis for discussion with our student teachers. The assessment of student teachers as they develop their practice is a complex thing and we were very clear from the start that we didn't want this to be something that was done to the student teacher. They needed to be an active participant in the process. We have a multi-stage process where the student teacher self-assesses, synthesises their progress and then goes into a professional dialogue with the mentor so that it's a much more active, interactive process. Because the PLP is online and because it's collaborative, this makes it so much easier for us to implement this assessment method, which is much more in line with the developmental ethos of the professional standards for teaching and leadership here in Wales. My name's Emma Duha. I am Senior Lecturer on the PGC Secondary Programme here at Cardiff Met, but I've also got a responsibility for the professional learning of mentors. So the PLP is really important to mentors who are working on placement with our student teachers. They adopt this dual role when working with the student teachers, first and foremost in supporting their learning and progress. But secondly, and very importantly, they also are responsible for assessing them as they make progress towards qualified teacher status in the professional standards for teaching and leadership. So the PLP is really conducive to those two aspects of their roles. They're able to meet with the student teachers regularly and on the PLP there's a record of those weekly mentor meetings where they really dig down into the progress the student teacher is making and there's a record of that that they can see that progression happening over time. But they also complete assessment paperwork themselves directly onto the student teacher's PLP. So when they do formal learning and teaching observation forms, they complete them on the PLP. When they zoom out and have a look at how they're progressing more holistically towards the standards, again, they complete that paperwork on the PLP. So that dual aspect is supported by the student teacher's PLP, but it allows the mentor to really get an understanding of how they're progressing in all aspects of their development as a teacher and to support them as they go. Hi, I'm Helen. I'm studying on the primary PGCE. Hello, I'm Tiana. I'm studying the drama secondary PGCE. I'm Bethan. I'm in my third year doing the BA primary education with QTS. And I'm Ed and I'm on the secondary music uh, PGCE. 
I found we were asked to use the Driscoll template, weren't we? Mm. So I found that really, really helpful when I was first learning how to start writing a reflection because we wouldn't have known how to do it. But that's is sort of you know, the questions it asks, the things it asks us to think about, guide us with what to write. Mm -hmm. With those templates in, in Welsh, we call them Kilchmavariel, which really means reflective circle, which mm. is a good way of thinking about it. It's you, you take something that, um, a part of your practice, you reflect on it, what happens next? What are you going to do about this? Have you done this? And it brings back to, you know, what have you learned from this and how has it benefited you? Which I really like that, that sort of circle that we follow through with. Yeah, is, um, makes really sense. Helpful. And it's guided, it's not, I find that, yeah, same as you, I find it really helpful to have that guided reflection. Instruction, instruction yeah. yeah. It's great if you need a quick glance of, mm. oh, what do I need to be thinking about now? Mm. I can just have a quick glance and see in my lesson plan highlighted which areas are the most important to be considering. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like to highlight, and we both discussed as well, you do have the option to have two windows open. I don't know if you guys have tried that before. No, not yet. Yeah. The, the two PLPs open at the same oh, time. It's really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, wow. so if, if you're doing a scheme of work, say with year sevens, I like to kind of take that information over and then just make small adjustments, mm -hmm. which is really nice because yes. having to start from the very beginning, is, is, yeah. it's a lot and it can be stressful. So mm -hmm. it's nice to just kind of take that information over and put it into a new document. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so I think in, it's really interesting during the year to go back to your teaching philosophy because I wrote it right at the beginning and I, you know, I thought I knew what I was writing then, but now having seen things in practice, having been in a school, it's, it's really interesting to see how my philosophy has evolved. As you were saying, having it all in one place, not having a load of paper to mm -hmm. have to take to an interview, you've got it all there in front of you, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's helpful. The world is obviously going to become more electronic. I spoke mm. to a few students not at uh, Cardiff Metropolitan and they have to actually have a book where they do all of their work. And if they lose that, that's gone. Mm. You know, that's all of their mm. work gone. That's probably the biggest thing for me is having even, you know, your professional documentation, your personal yes. skills records, your attendance, mm -hmm. your lesson plans. Evidence, you can put Evidence for yeah, the stance, it's all there, which mm. is really, really helpful. 